Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, class. This is Professor Coyote. Welcome you back to our Let's Play of Battletech. All right, now, if you remember our last episode, it was mostly just the opening cinematics and everything and explaining, you know, my history of Battletech. And we're about to go into the opening battle. Um, it's uh, ostensibly where we're escorting the the queen to her coronation, but you know how that how that's going to go. This should actually basically be the tutorial mission. And as much as a tutorial as a paradox game can give you. Command interface initiated. Okay, so it is an actual. So move the mouse to the edge of the screen. Yeah, okay. So we get to this is your coral. This is the way you do your mouse. The do W A S D. Or rotate this way, Q and E. Alright, so yeah, the S moves, the refit yards, rust repairs on your blackjack. Looks like it's all in one piece, but we should run some light, some diagnostics on it. Just be sure. Standard field tests, you know the drill. More importantly though, I want to tell you about the job I brought you here to do. Now do me a favor and get that battle tech moving. Let's see if there's any kinks in the actuators. Okay. So as you can see here, it's turn-based. So it's kind of a little like XCOM. So things there should actually be pretty nice uh, it, for those of you who haven't played this kind of game before. So if you click on the, the portrait, you can see that uh, there are five different initiatives. Generally, you run at about a four, a three or a four, depending on the speed of your mech. This blackjack generally runs at a three. So you click that. I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so you want to move there. And just, and then you have a facing. This is important. If you have a bad facing and somebody comes behind you, they can nail right into your rear armor. So this would be a good arc. Watch you here, because there's something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since High Lord Tomati's funeral, and I'm worried about Lady Kamea's safety during your coronation procession. Anyway, looks like your actuators check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of those burnt out old urban mechs and open fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. But my gut tells me something's off. And a warrior trusts their instincts. Alright. So, let's just zoom around here. Now, these are all supposed to be dummies, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm going to attack one of these guys, because you don't have an ability like multi-attack or anything right now. Generally, you move and then attack. Alright, so we can attack, we can push that, pick one of these guys. Looks like it's 95%. Or, uh, can you... I think you hit escape? Yes, yeah, or you hit escape if you want to pick the other guy. They're both 95%, so it doesn't really matter. <coughs> Alright, so... Just go kaboom! All right, I ripped off both of its arms and it fell over. Enemy oh, okay. That's good. Good shot. Your guns are working order at least. Oh, looks like these guys are gonna be firing back, huh? I've been training Lady Rano since she was 14. She'd be naive at times and proud, but I have no doubt she'll be just a just and effective ruler. It's on us to see her safely in Cordelia, Cordelia City. Or that's easy once she's in the capital or her cousin Victoria by her side. Lady Victoria. Well, she's only been training under me for a single season, but she's already shaped herself one of the strongest mech warriors I've ever seen. Reminds me a lot of you, truth be told. Anyway, we should run a check on your targeting computer. See that drone over there, the one moving through the tree line? Put some hurt on it for me, and when it turns, take it out with a rear angle shot. After it's down, we'll keep moving. Camille's like a daughter to me. Her late father, High Lord Damati, was a good friend. Okay. So it's asking us to fire at it. Oh, just fire at it. Okay. All weapons committed. Yeah. Most vehicles, they're kind of uh, glass cannons. They don't have a whole heck of a lot of... Victoria pulls no punches. She's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
They're, they're kind of glass cans. They have lousy... They're, they're generally easy to blow up with a mech, but they will pack a punch, so you gotta wa you gotta watch out. All weapons committed. See, boom. That's why you had me go on the rear arc there. Yeah, that that went kaboom. Enemy unit destroyed. Nice shot. Now I don't know how familiar you are with uh, Oregon politics, but the reach was badly shaken by Howard Lee's, by High Lord Tiamati's de Tiamati's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power. It may have belonged on the throne. Go ahead and fire up your jump jets, kid. I want to see you descend this cliff face. Aim for that patch of ground over there, uh, near the edge of the lake. Okay. Now, most mechs uh, will have an option for either... for having jump jets. And then, once you land, you can have a, have a better facing. Uh, jump jets do give you a lot of... As you can see here, that you're like fairly high heat. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. Yeah, I kind of figured that was was gonna happen. Okay, so we have high heat, which means if that goes too high, it'll cook off, and then very bad things happen. The lucky is water allows you to have uh, you get a certain amount of of heat cooling. Uh, but water gives you a 50% plus effectiveness. So, so let's do that. Going in the water should help you cool off. Plasma leak detected. Jump jet malfunction. Jump jet systems damaged. System inoperable until repaired. Oh. So I get for insisting on a rush job. Not that I had much of a choice. Three foot yards were backlogged like you wouldn't believe. Looks like they're trying to process every single Royal Guard mech in time of the coronation. There isn't any time to get your jets replaced, so we're going to have to take them, make do without them. Go ahead and take that mech down with a melee attack. I want to be sure nothing else is going to break down on your blackjack before you take it down on the control. Core more into road. Okay. So melee is always fun. It doesn't cause any heat. you got to move up to it. And that's where the X goes. And hit. And then attack. Engaging Hunt! Attack. Okay. Push that engine, kid. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that you're mecha maneuver. Okay. Now, evasive charges here make you hard to hit. But, of course, if you're sprinting, you can't fire. So that's fine. If I do that, I should be able to then face him so he's not firing at me. So I got three ticks of evasiveness. And he does take one off for firing at me, but generally he missed. Congratulations! Your blackjack's as combat ready as it can be, given the circumstances. For what it's worth, I hope my suspicions turn out to be unfounded and we end the day having a good laugh about what a paranoid old man I become. But if not, then I know you'll be ready. It's time to move out. Lady Toronto is waiting for us at the mech bay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. <coughs> I expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Well, yeah, because, you know, we're awesome and shit like that. All right, we should be able to sprint in there. It doesn't really matter the facing. And that's probably overheating is you'll generate end up cooking something, and then you'll be broken. Coyote, allow me to introduce Kamea Arano, the soon be high lady of the Oregon Coalition. Is Lady Victoria on this channel? For the time being, my father has summoned me to the Picton docks. I have a fleet inspection to tour the family refit yards reside over before the coronation. Behold, the responsibilities of a noble daughter. A font of, of tedium that never runs dry. I know the feeling, cousin. By this time tomorrow, I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give my best to your father. Don't be late for the tourney. The gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that customized monstrosity, you pilot. Bold words, cousin. But the only victory they'll be celebrating is mine. You may be ascending the throne today, but my Kaga is more than a match for the family heirloom that you call a battle mech. And the arena 
I reign supreme. We'll see, cousin. We'll see. At any rate, I, I will see you at the tiny grounds. Sir Raju, I'm ready to go when you are. Overland along the Cormort Rano, as is the uh, Arano tradition. I command. We'll get you there in one piece. Coyote, fall in behind me. Remember what I told you. Mm -hmm. Mission successful. Mission successful until we all get screwed. You know that's going to happen. Which is why they're making it a cutscene, I bet you. Because if they made it into an actual battle, there's like, you know. If they made it into an actual battle, somebody, somewhere, would kick bash it to where, oh, look, I won. Hurts can center lock your units. Yeah. All right. So that was the tutorial, basically. Just a few ways to do things. I'll talk about a few more things. As battles happen. But, uh, yeah, so so basically going quick to get build up evasion is good because it lets you dodge. And every time somebody fires at you, then you lose a tick of evasion. Um, there'll be other things like bracing, and then there'll be some future uh, skills that will focus in on those things. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, there we go. That's that's how things are going so far. Uh, I'm really liking how this is coming out so far. I mean, I'm really sorry that it's actually not working for everybody's computers. I I'm surprised it's working well for my computer the way it is. I mean, I know that they always try to make it to where it mid-specs, and this is kind of a high-spec gaming laptop. Um, though it was kind of a year out when I bought it, so this just puts it two years. This puts it about... Uh, Still mid range on things. So here we are. I remember the Oregon Reach of old, the time of the great expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly we went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. Mm. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Mm -hmm. Year after year, the council deliberates while our economy falters, and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Arana will not act, someone must. Bum, bum, bum. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades or even loved ones on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, bad. today we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. I am an asshole. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the reef. Uh huh. To your stations. True heroes. The directorate. Huh? All right, so they got some drop pods going. That's how you transport fifty plus ton mechs. Hmm. I'm wondering if they're going to have you actually go. Oh my! They are going to have you go through it. This is going to be a losing proposition. Interesting, interesting. That, that means that if they are going to have you win, I wonder if there's some of you going to try to make it their, their challenge to actually win. <laughs> probably not. It, it probably goes, like, you know, immediately a fail. But I would love to see that video of someone trying to basically stop the game by winning. Ah, but 
it's so nice to finally to see this game out. It's been two years. Actually, it's not bad for a Kickstarter. But Hairbrain Scheme has been pretty pretty solid on their Kickstarters. They managed to successfully kickstart all three of their Shadowrun games, and now and now BattleTech, and they've all come out. Maybe not entirely on time. I think BattleTech was about six months late, but they all came out. This you know they have a four for four for the games coming out, which you know is bloody miracle for Kickstarter games. Which is why I generally only Kickstarter kickstart like uh, board games, because board games have a much higher chance of them coming out. <coughs> but uh, so far, I'm liking the way this is looking too. I'm sure that uh, given a couple of patches, that the Metacritic, the the Metacritic, and well, the Metacritic actually right now I think it's about an 80 percent on day one. <laughs> The Steam's about 55, that's where a lot of people are getting all pissed off that the game won't work for them and saying that they want the refund until, you know, it works and that kind of thing. I understand that, but I'm pretty sure, uh, by and large, those guys will end up becoming a minority and will probably pump back up to a, a, a 70 to 80 percent, if not higher. The only problem is, of course, this came out the same day as Frostpunk, so that one might actually have a lot more of a hype around it. But, eh, you know what? Like I said, this one had a kickstart, so there was, there was quite a bit of money that already went into it. So I don't I don't see... I see Paradox basically doing what they usually do. I mean, and let's face it, they can afford to. They make a bajillion dollars off of EU4 and Stellaris and other games. They just came out with, uh, with the, the, the Colonizing Mars game, so they have money to burn there. They own, you know, a couple of things they can easily put stuff into. <coughs> so, even if they have to basically put on the long haul for this, I don't see Battletech ending becoming a, a, a losing proposition for them. It might take a little bit longer, but I do see them kind of, uh, trying to pump up a lot of PR for it. Just in that usual paradox way. All right. Command interface initiated. I'm going to miss this. Clarity of purpose that I feel in the cockpit of a battle mech. The simplicity of it. But here they are, just up ahead. City gates. And my future, all laid out before me. Wait, what's that smoke? A guard post. One of the small ones that dot the road is leading the capital. But the emergency van has been quiet all morning. Well, I haven't heard anything about any fire. Bum, bum. Boom! I like it. Kid, keep your head on a swivel and be ready for anything. So we've got a Centurion, she goes the Kentaro, and you've got a Blackjack, so that's not too bad. Roger. I'm on it. Some sort of explosion. Looks recent, too. Do you think we're in an accident? No chance. You see those scorch marks? That's laser fire. We need to get you out of here right now. Yes, I think you're right. There's a patrol of Royal Guard up ahead. We, we should go to them. No. Whatever's happening here, I won't let it derail your coronation. Your people need you. Thank you, Raju. I will prove myself worthy of the faith you've placed in me. You're dead. I'm sure that you're dead. I have no doubt. Aye, aye. All right, so just in case these guys... Oh, and I love this, too. You are paddling battle mechs, so of course, you know, you're going to be plowing through stuff. Like, you saw there, there was uh, he crunched through the rubble. Um, you know, if you go through the streets and stuff, you'll, you're, you're going to eat buildings, break down kind of fences and stuff. I, I love that detail. Now, do you have jump jets? You don't have jump jets. I'm moving. I'm moving out. Okay, now just in case, I'm gonna have something go this way. I'm gonna try to have some better tactics. I'm not great at tactics, but you know. Hey, look, a rock. Okay. 
But at least we're building a bunch of evasive ticks. Hail, Mastiff! Hail, Lady Arano! We were preparing for Lady Arano's coronation parade, where we got a ward with disturbance along the Cormorant Road. A guard post behind us was attacked! Sir Raj, you found evidence of laser fire. Is the road behind you clear? Aye, all the way to the southern gate. Lead the way, Sir Raju. We'll fall in behind you and guard your six. Tell me something, guardsman. The road is clear. Why is your battle mech damaged? Our mechs are overdue for maintenance. But that isn't important right now. We need to worry about Lady Arano's safety. Now, my lady, if you'll come with us. No, you're lying to us. It's my coronation day. No mech tech would have sent you out for parade duty in that condition. I am your sovereign, sir. You will tell me what happened here. Damn it, girl. We don't have time for this. Take them! Kill the old man and the mech warrior, but take Lady Arano alive. Yeah, jerk. Fall back, Crimea. Get behind us. Combat! Train me to cower, Rashu. You train me to fight. Safety's disengaged. Okay, so we got a panther. Which Okay, you're gonna take her alive, but Alright, so all friendlies must survive. Oh, good lord. Okay. So Mastiff. Okay, so you see here, we go, there's, this shows you the ticks that you go on, and also the ticks that they'll go on. So if you go on a four and a three, so they already went, so we go. Generally, I think, the way it goes, yeah, it's different mechs, little iron phase, lighter units generally move earlier than heavy ones. So we could reserve him, and then have all three of them go. But, got your back. Now, can, can we get all the way to melee him? Is it a small laser? Okay, we stay back here and brace. Holding to vent heat. That's probably a dumb move. I was trying to see if I can attack, but I guess bracing takes the whole action. Okay, there's Shadow Hawk. Hmm, so bracing may not have been a bad thing. You need more practice. Okay, so now we have two attacks. So they'll go generally before we do. Alright, so let's go with us first. So we can provide a bit of a cover for her. Because I want to have her fall back. So if we spin like that. Yeah. I don't think that's going pretty well. Ah, the AC is bad no matter what, so I might as well do the closer guy. So you can see what our percentage is here. And some of the, actually it's thirty-five for them. So you know what? Let's fire. All weapons committed. All right, so we have a crit on exposure. He blew his arm off, and he hurt the the uh, the pilot. So that's good. Yes, I hear you. So I think we'll have her stay here, and she can actually multi-target. So that means we can move up here, let's say, here. And if we spin it there, we'll be able to hit both. The multi-target does what you think it says. So let's just spin around here. Let's see, so 80, 70, 70, okay. Okay, these get... Well, I want to get something on the A as well, because theoretically with these SRMs, you should be able to hit him. Actually, I'm surprised I don't get a better on the A, but whatever. Handling multiple opponents. All right, so I got the structure exposed. That's good. It destroyed with his heat sinks. Ah, I didn't quite blow him up. Oh, there we go. Set her torso down. There you go, Lady Arano. That leaves just the one guy. For me. Okay. Talk to me. Oh, he had a multi-target too. I didn't see that. Boo. Oh well. Okay, so if I move there, that should get a little bit better with the LRM. 
Because the LRM has a minimum as well. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. All weapons are go. As we blow up a whole bunch of trees, but we don't hit him. Oh well. So he's probably gonna move up to punch. Yep. Ouch. They punch through my defenses. Well, monkey see, monkey do. So you click on that, and that's how you punch. He's getting pretty hard too. Punt. Yep, there it goes. Oh yeah, and he's unsteady. You have my attention. Yeah, you might as well. Might as well take him down. Okay, attack him. Can I not see him? Oh. Administering justice. Okay, that takes both of them out. You chose the wrong side. Oops. I think I overheated her. Come here, come here, can you hear me? You were just attacked, the Royal Guard fired to take me prisoner. What's happening here too? The Royal Guard are killing one another in the halls. Lord Carosa's house guards gunned down in front of me. The Attorney Pavilion is a slaughterhouse. I won't let those seditionists, or whoever they are, steal my birthright. We need to rally every loyalist we can find and make a push on the capital. Well, I'll take the throne by force if I must. Go to Rotura for township on the armory. Your soldiers are using it as a rallying point. I heard Lord Decimus say, send his house guard there a few minutes ago. Someone's here. I have to move. Rally with forces you can and meet me at the tourney grounds. Be safe. You heard him, Mastiff. Rotura township. We'll go there, rally our fighters, and march on the southern gate with our army at our back. Hey, I know that you and Lord Madeira are friends, but we can't take what he told you on faith. Right now, we don't know who we can trust. In this case, we do. Alexander is my closest friend and confidant for as long as I can remember. His loyalty is beyond question. I trust him with my life and yours. Now take me to the armory. As you command. Traitors in the guard. And I fear this is only the beginning. Okay. Now, I got Follow lucky. Me. Keep close and remember your training. Oh, Things like are likely to get ugly between here and there. It looks like I got lucky with Kintaro. It only took, uh, oh, sorry, with Kamea. Her Kintaro only took structural damage. I mean, yeah, that sucks. It makes her a bit weaker. Okay, so now is Rotura Township. Is it this way? Yes, it is. Okay, now the blue line is showing what your, your, uh, your, your line, your, your full sensor range can go. And the, and the orange line there is the full range of the map. Okay, so let's sprint. Moving out. Okay, with her, she can't sprint. She just needs to move. Actually, she needs to brace the cool. Flushing heat. Because otherwise, then you'll lose more. Enemy detected. Well, actually, in a way, it's good. Because there's a couple things there. You've got my attention. Okay, I'm gonna see if we can try and send one guy up this way. I'll probably send my mech up this way. I believe the blackjack's got jump jets. Yeah, he'll just brace if there's nothing better to do. Oh, it's just vehicles. Okay. We can take these guys. We can punt them. I mean, yeah, he's gonna zap, but he missed. Okay. So if I go up this way... Okay, so I'll go this way and I'll fire at the, the vehicle then. I'll, I'll probably have Kamea go up the, the other way then. All weapons. This should take out the vehicle pretty well. Yeah. One fewer hostile on the board. 
Yeah, we're doing good there. Enemy unit destroyed. Like I said, vehicles are glass cannons. They don't take much. They don't take much to kill. Now, being that they're glass cannon also means that they can't. They do often have a quite a bit of firepower on Tell me them. What you need. Now you need to sprint. Accelerating to maximum speed. I'm just gonna put you on some heat. So I might have to have you brace again. Wow, there we go. He cooled off enough. Okay, so we have a couple of vehicles. We're gonna fire again. Looks like uh, an LRM hit. Didn't do too much. Just took an evasion tick. Damage minimal. Yeah. That's fine. And then we'll have that vehicle come up and fire. Now, the problem is I don't have any... It was minimal damage, but I didn't have any evasion. So I took full damage. Talk to me. Okay. Now, unfortunately, this has become a bit of a choke point. So I can move about there. I'll face that way. I've got multi-target with this guy. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a long episode. So we're going to take a cut here probably after this, this go. Okay, so it's uh, the LR the LRMs are they're about even. Okay, well that's all I can do. So we'll do that. Damn you for making me do that, son. Oh, the vehicle survived. Boo! You're gonna go that way, and you've got indirect fire anyway, so that's good. I think I can only target one, so just attack. With the LRM, that should kill it. Kaboom! Flagged a hostile vehicle. Okay. And then I guess I'll just move on. I won't be... I, I don't think there's a way I can get in contact with that, so... I could sprint, but eh. I'll probably just end up bracing then. Got a couple of ticks, and then I'll brace for impact. Minimal damage you're taking there. Four, two, two. Orders. Okay. Yeah, you'll move forward. Just take that guy out. In fact, I might even save some of the ammo. I won't do an AT AC blast because that uh, ends up making it not as effective. Confirmed. Well, I probably should have saved the LRM. Okay, vehicle kaboom! Vehicle kaboom! Never stood a chance. Well, yeah, they're just vehicles. Roger that. Copy that. Can I? Can I? Do you read me? It's Espinosa, your uncle. Do you hear me? House Espinosa is usurping the throne. Can't be. My uncle, Victoria! Kamea, I just watched an Espinosa battle that cloud through an alley for those civilians. This is happening, and it's happening now! Your loyalists have fallen back to the market district. That's where they're making their stand. What's left of the Royal Guard is doing their best, but there's something wrong with their battle mechs. Wait! What's that sound? Ah! Oh, that's... Alexander! That sucks.
So, uh... Now what? Sorry, I was trying to see where the, uh... Where to go from here. It's over. Kamea, your ascendancy, the Arago legacy, all of it. Toria, what have you done? You know, Kamea, for years I loved you like a sister. But then my father helped me see it. Your family's complacency. What it's done to the Reach. Our nation dwindles like a dying star. And how Serrano is to blame. My father offered you a path to glory. I'd have fought. There, your banner proudly. Serve it strong. I'm sorry, I gotta take a pause here. Sorry about that. Alright, uh, let's keep going on with that. It was uh, the wife kind of came in all of a sudden on me. Oh, oh it was like my heart when I turned him away. Damn it, Victoria, I taught you better than this. You taught me lies! For the love that I once bore you, I'm going to give you a chance to surrender. I'll even spare the old man and his best warrior if you stand down now. I don't want to see you hurt, but you cannot be allowed to. I'll see you hang for this, Victoria. You and your father both. Do you hear me? You are traitors to the Reach, and I will fight you to the last. Then you are truly a fool. I'll spare you in spite of yourself, but you cost your royal escort their lives. Wait, what? No, don't kill us! Attention, all Espinosa So destroy the enemy forces and This is Lady Victoria Espinosa. Lady Arano is to be apprehended and taken alive by my command. Fail to follow these instructions? And you will have me to deal with. Okay. So they dropped a locust and a cicada, which are both light mechs. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to put a, another pause in here really quickly. Um, and we're going to continue this battle. I hope you have a very excellent rest of your day. And with that, class dismissed.